Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about musical intervals. Now the interval is just a space between something. For example, um, the interval from like school to my house. Um, it's the space between something and it's the same in music. Um, in music we number our intervals. So we'll say these notes are a second apart, these notes are a third apart, a fifth apart, and so on. Um, there are a couple numbers that we don't usually use. For example, if there are two notes that are exactly the same, we usually don't call those like a first. Instead, we call that unison. Unit meaning like of the same. So they are the exact same note, they are unison. Another number that we generally don't use in music is the number eight. We don't say they're an eighth apart. Instead, we say these notes are an octave apart. Octave, like octopus, meaning eight notes apart. Let's practice intervals right now. As I said before, notes that are the same are called unison. You can see notes that are the same on the staff because they're literally on the same line or on the same space. These two notes are unison. These two notes are unison. Um, two unison notes would sound like this. Ba, ba, literally the same note. Next, let's talk about seconds. We're talking about major seconds right now, and when musicians write M for major, we use a capital M, as you can see here. Uh, examples of major seconds are like Do to Re, um, notes that are one apart. You can see on the staff, line to space, line to space, or space to line. These are notes that are one apart. To hear this, you would listen for this sound. Bum, bum, like do, re. A lot of musicians remember major seconds by thinking about the song Happy Birthday. Do, do, re, right? That's a, an interval of a major second. Next, let's talk about major thirds. I'm going to add my capital M for major third. Thirds look like this, line to line. I can tell it's a third because if the first note is one, this space note, this imaginary space note would be two, this note would be three, that's an interval of a third. An example in music would be do, mi, do, mi, that's a third. Another way it might look would be this, line to line, do, re, in the imaginary space, mi. Another example might look like this, do, mi, this is space to space, right? Um, for a song to help you remember major thirds, you might consider doing When the Saints Go Marching In. Da, 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 do, mi. The beginning interval there is a major third. Next, let's talk about fourths. Now, you would think that I would write M4, major four here, but actually we call fourths, fifths, and octaves perfect intervals. And the reason why is because they're the only intervals that tune perfectly. So instead of calling it major, I would say a perfect fourth. Now, an example of a perfect fourth would be this. Here's my music staff. I'm going to draw a do. Remember, do can go anywhere. And now I'm going to count up four spots. This is one, two would be on the line, three is on a space, and a perfect fourth would look like this. Let's try another example. Um, here's my new do. One, two, three. And this would be my perfect fourth. People remember this one by thinking of the song, Here Comes the Bride. Da, 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 da. Do, fa, fa, fa. Do, re, mi, fa is a perfect fourth. Next, let's do the interval of a fifth, a perfect fifth. It tunes perfectly. Um, that would be like do to sol. People think of it like this. Twinkle, twinkle, do, do, sol, sol. That's a fifth. Let's draw some fifths. If I started with F as my do, a fifth would be up to here. Why? One, two, three, four, and five. Always remember to count the bottom note as your number one when you're counting intervals. Okay, another example of a fifth, let's get wild and crazy here, is if this is my do, my soul would live way up here on a ledger line. One, two, three, four on the imaginary space and five on that top ledger line. Let's do one more. Um, here's my do. Think about where my soul would be you said in the top space, you're correct. Now let's talk about major sixths. I'm going to write M6, capital M here. All right, I'm going to pick a starting note. Um, I'll use this note for right now. I'm going to count that note and then count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's an example of a sixth. You might consider drawing along with me here. Um, let's use a ledger line. 
This would be one. Imaginary note right here, which would be two. Three on the line, four on the space, five on the line, six would live right here. Let's do one more with our upper ledger lines. One on the space, two on the line, three on the imaginary space, four on the imaginary line, five on the imaginary space above the line, and six on the second line up there. This is a sixth. Um, N, B, C, N, B is Do, La, which is the interval of a major six. So if you ever watch the station, N, B, C, you're gonna think that's a major six. Let's talk about major sevenths, major with a capital M. Um, I like to think of the song Take On Me for a major seventh. Take on, take on, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti. That's a major seventh. It's right before the octave of do, do, it's do, ti. Um, to draw it, you know, I have to obviously count up seven, counting the bottom note, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. F to E. Okay, let's try another one. Um, let's use this dripping D here off the bottom of the staff. One, two, three on the space, four on the line, five, six, seven. There's my seventh. And let's do one more using some ledger lines here. Okay, line, space, line, space, line, space, line. These are all examples of major sevenths. Finally, last but not least, we will talk about the octave. Um, the octave is like a D to a D, a C to a C. It's eight notes apart. Um, I use the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow for this one. Somewhere over the rainbow, right? Da, da, is do, do. It's eight notes apart. Let's draw it. This would be an example of eight notes apart. This would be an example of eight notes apart. You know, there's a million examples. This would be an example of eight notes apart. You might be thinking, okay, I've sort of identified an interval. I think I know which song it goes with, but um, I'm curious about if I'm right. Like, how do I check my work? And here's how I would do it. Um, I like to compare everything to Do. So I always think of the first note in every single interval as my Do. And then the second note, um, based on the solfege scale, um, Kind of going up here so unison would obviously be do and do um, a major second would be do then re happy birth do do re right a uh, major third would be do to me do me fa sol oh and the saints uh, here comes the bride would be what think about the pattern do fa do re mi fa Okay, twinkle twinkle would be what? Think about the pattern. Do so, twinkle twinkle. Um, NBC would be what? Do la. Take on me would be what? Do ti. And octave would be what? Do do. So if I heard an interval of this, bum bum. I would go do, re, mi, fa, and I'd be able to hear that that's a fourth. Basically, you need to be able to separate the two pitches, hum or sing them, and then figure out how far apart in the scale they are. Like this, bum, 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 bum. This is do, do, hmm, 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 sol. That would be a perfect fifth. If you have this skill of listening, humming, and separating, you will be able to identify intervals. Good luck!